Colonel Hennady Kovalenko, head of the Department of International Defense Cooperation at Ukraine's Ministry of Defense, discussed how Ukraine could contribute to NATO's transformation. He spoke about it during the Via Carpatia 2024 Forum on Espresso TV. He outlined six strategic lessons for NATO, starting with the need to recruit more personnel. Currently, eight battle groups are planned for Eastern Europe, with four already deployed in the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania and Poland. Another four battle groups are set to be stationed in Hungary, Slovakia and Romania. Kovalenko suggested that Ukraine could play a role in this process, particularly by sending Ukrainian NCOs and officers to learn from the experience of the Baltic states and Poland in hosting NATO forces. This would include studying the legal frameworks, 
logistical support systems and other related processes. Ukraine is actively working on a concept to support countries hosting NATO forces, which would also help prepare the country for potential NATO membership. According to him, the second valuable lesson for NATO and the EU is the development of remote aerial surveillance. NATO has decided to deploy AWACS systems in Romania and Poland, and in this context, Ukraine can play an important role in the deployment of these capabilities, which we will receive from our Swedish partners. The third lesson concerns airspace control. I was a Ukrainian officer who studied in Estonia in 2003 to 2004, where we participated in the Zokniai and Sioliai exercises. Back then, we explored the possibility of deploying air forces in Lithuania. Currently, the Baltic states are conducting air policing missions in Estonia and Lithuania, and Ukraine could assist by exchanging data with our existing or future fleets, such as the S-16. Kovalenko explained, the fourth lesson is about coordinated defense forces, which Kovalenko called one of the most important takeaways from NATO. NATO is actively developing strategies to defend against missiles and air threats, and we are working on integrating future air defense systems, he said. The fifth lesson involves long-range strike capabilities. Kovalenko emphasized that Ukraine not only receives assistance from NATO, but can also provide valuable intelligence and platforms to support the use of NATO missiles. The final lesson is the fight against cyber and information threats. We are actively cooperating with the Cyber Defense Center in Tallinn and the Training Center in Riga, Kovalenko concluded. Soldiers have rioted in a military unit in the town of Kochenivo, Novosibirsk region of Russia. The reason for this is that the soldiers are unable to receive the necessary medical care and are being prepared to be sent to war in Ukraine. The soldiers, who complain that the situation in the military unit is unbearable, also said that they do not want to return to the war. This was reported by Russian telegram channels. The soldiers destroyed the barracks where they were staying and broke the windows. Later, 12 soldiers left the military unit on their own. Most of them were detained and returned after a while. Я запустил. 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 Я запуст